Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 17th, 2020. Well, what a day we had yesterday. My goodness, I've been watching and waiting and even expecting at any point in time we could see those bears reemerge. They've had a, a few attacks over the last um, uh, during this week, but uh, the bulls have been able to defend them off or fend them off. And yesterday's run, holy moly, a big gap up and continue run to the upside has stretched this market really to some extreme levels. But there's no sign of stopping just yet. So let's take a look here. What's going on? When you look at this chart, um, it's just a remarkable, a remarkable run up in uh, the market. So we're continuing to push, uh, push on through, going higher. This morning we're looking at another gap up open in the market where uh, those futures are pushing to the upside. Um, and this morning we have a um, that situation where we're actually getting support. Yesterday we didn't have much support. Asian stocks uh, had closed flat. European stocks were all lower. Well, this morning, um, China reported last night that their economy grew at um, the level they expected, like 6.1% over the year. And that fueled um, Asian markets higher. So Asian markets closed the week strong. European markets um, kind of reacting to the big move in U.S. markets and that China news also rallying uh, this morning, hitting some new records. So European markets also reaching um, out for those new record highs today. So we're getting a little bit more backing today for this market than we had yesterday. But let's take a look at where we are. We're really stretched out here. One of the things we want to remember to do as retail traders and heading into a three-day weekend, we have to be just a little bit careful how we plan out these trades. Make sure that you're sizing your trades correctly. You're not getting caught up in the emotion of this market. Um, just throwing everything, all caution out with the wind and and just racing into trades. Um, you want to be carefully planning each and every trade. You want to be thinking about your trade size. Make sure your trade size is cracked. Make sure you're taking trades that have a risk tolerance that you can handle. Make sure that you're not over trading. And that's meaning having more trades on than you typically would, um, to more trades than you can really handle, just in case that sentiment does decide to shift. And one of those examples can happen. could happen even this morning where we gap up this morning, find no buyers, and the sellers start coming in. We get what we call, I call a pop, um, a pop and drop. That's certainly possible as we push out for these new highs and are a little stretched out. Keep in mind that this bullish market has pushed Google um, Alphabet into the trillion dollar market cap club. Um, I think there's only five companies in the world with that kind of market cap and uh, Google joined them yesterday with this incredible push in the market and the bulls. And we've also reached an interesting metric number. Um, Bank of America started recording in the 80s what they call the price to earnings growth number, the peg number. And um, the way the peg number works is basically if you have a 1.0, um, if your price and earnings have reached up here to a 1.0 ratio, means that you're fully, fully um, uh, priced that we're starting to reach an overbought condition. And um, what's interesting is we're just breaking all records everywhere. That number is currently 1.8. It's the highest in history. Um, where we have just, it just really doesn't matter, I guess, to um, investors anymore, um, how incredibly overbought some of these tr um, companies may be. So um, we're continuing to push higher. So as these records continue to get broken um, and we're kind of cascading on themselves, some people call it melting higher, everybody rushing in. You can almost hear the money being sucked into this market right now as everybody rushes in, hoping not to miss out on this move. Now, 
those have a tendency when they when they finish and there's no i'm not telling you that i know when it's going to finish i have no clue when it's going to finish um when they finish they typically finish badly so take a look just back if you guys remember 2017 um here in the dow where we got really carried away over exuberant in the market how that finished so make sure you're not putting yourself in a situation where you could get caught in that kind of a an ugly pullback and we're reaching up here into that um, tremendous exuberance here again so just make sure you're doing your job as a trader following your rules um, sticking to your plan and make sure you're taking some profits along the way you know one of the things that um, greed kind of sometimes gets in the way of taking profits we want to make sure we're taking some of those profits reducing some of that risk and even particularly as we head into a three-day weekend so let's take a look <clears throat> at the spy spy there's all of these charts are just screaming higher there's no nothing there's nothing in the chart right now that suggests bearishness that the bears are even hanging around they're just kind of setting out in fact i posted a um, picture in the morning blog you guys if you look right under the title of the video there's a link to the morning blog just posted a picture picture of a bear kind of sitting behind a log um, chilling waiting for his opportunity and they're just waiting waiting in the wings for their opportunity to maybe attack so right now um, they're and that's all I can do is wait but the bull is rampant here and moving higher also notice that we are gapping up again this morning here in the SPY. New record highs at the open looks like a high probability. The Q's, Q's also doing the same thing, just ripping the cover off of the ball. Just This is a home run like um, uh, no home run I've ever seen. And just continuing to stretch itself out here, looking for a gap up open. And everything is copacetic and bullish in this chart as well. No signs of bears here just yet. So watch that close. And IWM also just ripped it loose last yesterday breaking through hard gap up open continue to run and is also looking to move higher yet again this morning so pretty amazing how these charts are just pushing 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 and it is absolutely relentless um, on this friday morning let's take a look at uh, the vix it's interesting to me that the vix is really not doing a whole lot here you can see um we're just kind of bouncing around in here now we did push down a little bit yesterday and get a little bit of rally back up just indicating maybe there might be a little bit of concern about how far this market has stretched no fear really coming into the market but just a little bit of concern how much this market has stretched and so we've got that had that vix perk up just a little tiny bit as you can see we have a price level right through here that could serve as resistance so if we do begin to creep up uh, certainly not going to hurt us at that point as a matter of fact i don't think it's going to hurt us at all unless we break up into here hold as support and start higher so right now still holding that downtrend in the vix very little fear but maybe some complacency starting to build in where we're just racing um, into buy uh, without doing a whole lot of thoughtful um, consideration of where we actually are with some of these metrics let's take a look at t2122 that is the four week new high and new low ratio and this is one of those indicators that just works um, there's a, a lot of indicators as you know give us a lot of falsehoods and things like that but t2122 just works really really well and when we reach up into these upper areas we um, we tend to hit what we I call a bearish rever reversal zone we're up in this area where we're pretty well stretched out in that possibility of that pullback um, comes into play now keep in mind if you follow this back and I don't care how far you follow this back we can stretch this up clear to the top as you can see and we can even linger up here for just a little while 
But keep in mind that when we reach up into these levels of T21, 22, there is typically some selling coming into play in the very near future. So watch that closely and, and just know that we have a pretty big um, um, open door to the downside if those bears do begin to um, assert themselves. So be careful. Remember to take some profits. Watch that price action very closely. And I don't want to give you the impression that this just means that we have to absolutely collapse. I, I'm not saying that at all. Just a pullback, a rest, even a consolidation in the market can bring T21, 22 back down a little bit, give us a little pause. So kind of keep that in mind. It doesn't necessarily mean a collapse, a collapse collapse of any kind is imminent and I don't want anyone thinking that I'm suggesting that the bears are just chomping at the bit waiting waiting to rush in and crush everyone I'm not saying that at all but we do have to be thoughtful and careful about how we approach a market that is so extended at this point let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have some things that could move the market around as you can see right here early this morning before the market opens we have the housing starts now housing starts are expected to stay pretty stable so um, not expecting any big surprises here according to consensus anyway so we'll want to watch that number but that's a, one of those numbers that can move the market around industrial production consumer sentiment and the jobs opening report all are consensus wise are showing pretty good results um, in the expectations of that. Maybe a little bit of shifting here and there, but no major surprises. At least that's what they're suggesting. So we'll want to watch those closely and, and just realize that they can move those markets around a little bit. And then we have our final speaker of the week, uh, Fed speaker. So um, we'll finally close that down. So watch watch those numbers as they come out this morning on the earnings calendar we had um well we have let me look here 21 companies um reporting earnings today some of the uh, notables today would be like cfg cfg reporting you can see it's gapping up this morning looks like they reported well uh fastenal Fastenal reporting this morning looks like they missed and are gapping down this morning. So a little bit of back and forth. Um, JB Hunt, JB Hunt looks like they have missed uh, this morning and are moving slightly lower. So we'll want to watch that. JB Hunt pulling back, miss on that. KSU, KSU reporting this morning. I can't see that they've reported just yet so we'll want to watch that um, rf is one of the companies reporting this morning regions financial and you can see they're gapping just slightly up this morning slumberger reporting this morning and looks like they've reported positively will be gapping up slightly this morning and last but not least but state street state street also looks like they've reported well gapping up slightly this morning so with all of that information coming out dow futures are positive suggesting a 50 60 point gap up this morning at the open and the um, S&P 500 futures also pointing to a gap up and NASDAQ futures um, showing lots of bullishness this morning as well trying to push on higher so good feelings in the market right now just remember we have that three-day weekend coming um, that three-day weekend can sometimes provide a little bit of uncertainty um, you know a lot of things can happen over a three-day weekend and sentiment can shift so make sure you're considering that when you're heading into the weekend. Maybe take some profits, put, the, put that money, tuck it safely into your account, and then you can have a nice, comfortable three-day weekend without having to worry about what what may occur over the weekend so let's take a look um, at some stock setting up but before we do that if you guys would do me a favor if you find these videos to be helpful and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and the purpose of these is just to really look at those technicals of the chart and Try to remove the emotion of the day. Think about all the different aspects that may be affecting the market and how we might want to approach that for the day with a thoughtful, 
uh, plan, not just rushing in based on emotion and what you might see in the media and all the hype and energy that gets um, kicked up and stirred up uh, during the morning open. So if you find these videos helpful, please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Helps the algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks and um, we continue to grow the channel. So thank you very much for everyone who does that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, means the world to me that you take the time to do that. Um, and I, it, it, and seriously, I truly appreciate it. So and taking a look at a few stocks that are setting up here today, let's, um, Remember that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell any security, okay? Um, something that you can put on the list, part of the education and things that I do. And if you find a stock that happens to fit you personally, you've done your personal evaluation, well then by all means, make that decision. But this is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Let's take a look at a chart, AMCX. AMCX, I really like the way this chart looks. Um, this is one of those patterns that I've been describing here lately we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and that rounded bottom breakout pattern is when a stock gets severely oversold usually we this is a 34 exponential moving average right here that orange line and that 34 exponential moving average really stretches down away from the 50 day and that's a very typical oversold condition in in a stock and so we get that oversold condition we start to rally back up now I'm not interested in picking the bottom down here that's not my game I don't want to trade that um, personally I just found that not to be very effective for me so what I do is I wait and watch and wait and I want that stock breaking back up through some downtrends so we break some downtrends in the chart so we're up here testing that downtrend right now in AMX and notice that we're breaking higher here just consecutively moving up in a nice bullish pattern we hold that 50-day moving average we start moving up so I'm going to go back to my naked chart here and notice that we broke through some price resistance we held that support we know that that 50-day moving average is right under here and we're attacking that downtrend resistance in the chart so I would want to be watching this in here you can see I've placed a price alert on this chart I'm just waiting to see if that can pop on through give me an opportunity in that trade so keep an eye on it it's very very similar to a trade um, that uh, we've already made some money on in right way options and that's um, OSTK overstock.com um, overstock had this nice little round of bottom breakout pattern occur where we broke above that 50-day moving average held it as support and um, I'll show you here my alert was right here caught that and that was a, a 22% gain with an option in just one day uh, moved up now the fun thing about this chart is we have gotten a nice little resting pullback so we've we came up here hit that price resistance pulled back to support let's watch this as this slips over here toward trend see if we can get that next opportunity buy signal signal to uh, pop up in here. OSTK looking pretty good. One you want to keep an eye on. A different kind of chart. We're pushing out to new highs here. ZY a um, Z A Y O beautiful looking chart moving up in this nice little trend and notice that this has this tendency to consolidate long periods of time. So we moved up out of here right off of the trend. How cool is that? Right off of that trend and we're sliding sideways over here and we're starting to pop out that big bullishness in the market pushing that out here this morning so it's possible that our trend is becoming steeper which is happening everywhere in the market right now so you'll want to watch that chart it's also entirely possible that could just continue this little consolidating move over to trend so keep an eye on that chart but a very different chart and one that could certainly um, show some benefits here soon keep an eye on it um, AMD AMD I mentioned this one yesterday AMD has broken out I'm gonna go to a weekly and pull this back um, AMD has broken out of the 2001 one tech bubble highs and is pushing 
um, higher so you can see held up nicely in this consolidation popped yesterday kind of uh, struggled here a little bit don't be too surprised to see this kind of shift still shift over toward that trend before it gets that opportunity to move higher but AMD looking very good very strong and um, I like the nice controlled pattern that it is trading in take a look at LW LW uh, another one of those charts moving up in a nice trend had a big pop on an earnings report and as you can see no one wants to sell that stock um, we have a nice little level of support right underneath here in the chart no one seems to want to sell this we're just consolidating sideways um, watch this as we start approaching the trend here in the chart we could anytime kick up here and start moving higher nice little chart to keep an eye on so with that, everyone, um, running out of time here this morning, lots of charts out there. One of the places you, you guys might want to look is look at any stocks that have good um, um, dividend paying um, situations where we have stocks with high dividends right up here in my chart I've got the annualized dividend yield forward and you can see that Procter & Gamble pushing out to new highs we're seeing Coca-Cola those defensive sector dividend paying stocks moving higher there's a big rotation I think going on here where folks are moving out of growth sectors into more uh, value sectors more dividend paying stocks so keep an eye on those there could be a lot of those that could be setting up here in the near future. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And, and more importantly, I want to wish you all a safe and wonderful three-day weekend. Everyone take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best. Take care now and have an awesome, awesome three-day.